Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we have been farming up in Zulfarak. Now, haven't had that much of a chance to fully farm up, so I've done a couple of hours of Zulfarak, and let's go over what we actually got a hold of. The things that we actually got a hold of for this is a few more lockboxes, pretty cool. Just waiting till it fills up the entire build guild bank tab. The things of note that we actually got a hold of is a load of greens, of, of course. No glorious type-esque stuff, unfortunately. We did get some sunscale stuff and a few other bits. There's a couple of things in here that were for a, a, a few thousand gold, and that's okay. Like the imposing vest of the quick blade, that's 1,500 gold. Min buyout market value average is around about 2,254 gold, and the region market value average is 2,117. The region sell average for that is 724. Yeah, and we just have a load of other little bits and all that jazz and stuff. It just varies from like 50 gold a piece to like a couple of thousand gold. So not too bad, not too horrible. It's just overall decent amount of stuff. We actually got hold of quite a few amounts of recipes. Now, as for like all of the others, the recipes don't sell for an awful lot, like the, the light earth forged blade, obviously not gonna be worth that much, um, and all that stuff. So just random different types of things that we can then sell on the auction house through that. So that's good to pad out more of our auction house for our transmog. And let's actually just jump into what we actually got. Now we actually got quite a few of the notable items, which is the flaming, the flaming incinerator. Not worth an awful lot. Thirty gold min buyout for that. Two hundred gold min buyout for the saffron scale, uh, saffron scale boots. That is two hundred gold or a market value of eighteen gold. Very bad. You can you can actually get this uh, boe blue off of the treasure chest in the Blasted Lands and all of the other uh, treasure chests. I think it's the heavy silken chests that actually drop these. So you can get them from there. The other thing we actually got a hold of is the black metal cape, not worth an awful lot, 104 gold. The BOE blues from this aren't worth an awful lot. Spell shock leggings, 46. The gut wrencher, 74 gold. That's pretty cool. Actually, let's, let's have a gander at what it actually looks like and I can definitely tell why it's not worth an awful lot. Doesn't look that cool. And we also got, also got the Witch Doctor's Cane for 44 gold, and that is just a standard little staff like that. But the thing of note that we actually got a hold of, which actually made it well worthwhile out of our couple of runs, is we actually got the Blade of Hannah, which is valued at a min buyout of 135,763 gold or a market value of 128,329 gold. The other thing of note is the region market value average of 156,945 gold, and the region sell average of 42,385 gold. So the region sell average. Okay, and the sell rate on it is 0.02. So, the Blade Hub Hannah on my realm, there is four on the auction house at the moment, and we've got one as well. So. What we're going to be doing it's a katana based esque sword so that's pretty cool so then i'll be posting that in the auction house for that same price 135,000 that as it stands and just make it adjust every single day when we repost our auctions so not a problem right there i don't expect to sell it for 135,000 by the way uh at most we'll probably sell it for about a hundred thousand and that's being very conservative on that but other than that we did get a lot of mage weave cloth and a lot of silk cloth and all that jazz. Now, when it comes to the actual run, we're going to actually just do a little flight. Obviously, we can fly over the dungeon instead of actually going in. When you come into the dungeon, you'll want to be in your travel form or you're using the heirloom mount, which is located just over here. So if we just go to the neck, uh, the chauffeur mount, so this one that you get from your heirlooms, and then you can just fly around. This is because these the mobs actually daze you, and I fly all the way over here, gather up all of the mobs. I'm literally just showing you how I actually gather all these guys up, because there's different packs and everything. And overall, I just gather up everything in this section over here, fly around, and just keep going this way. Now, uh, for obvious reasons, I follow it all the way up and around, like like such and I gather up all of these guys in this 
area here and then I fly, well run through because you can't fly in this instance and make sure that I make my way all the way over towards this area here which then I click all of the graves that are on the floor and then run into this section here to gather them up, burn them down and then I just open the treasure chest that's on the side which is always up so don't forget to do that and then once that's done I basically just do that and then I dream walk and then reset the instance come back out and fly back into the instance and all of that stuff so really easy to do a lot of decent transmog we got a little bit of raw gold with it so not too worried I'm, I'm literally at the moment while I'm transmog farming I'm just keeping a note of all of the raw gold that I actually get from all of this stuff to just to see how much gold I'm actually making just as raw so at the moment from my couple of Zulfrat runs and my few Alderman runs we're at 2610 gold for basically just running a transmog farm so other than that let's get into the gold for the day now you're probably wondering before I get into the gold for the day is Zulfrat worth it now for obvious reasons Zulf there is a reason why a lot of gold makers always suggest Zulfarak is because it has a chance of giving you loads of high-end actual items and it's a great dungeon in order to pad out your auction house. This is why it's always being used to run and work out all of your stuff and overall it's just a great farming location just for getting started with transmog selling in general because it's a good way to pad yourself out and get some high-end items to sell in the auction house. That being the case, let's just get into the gold for the day. The gold for the day, or the last four days, is 217,694 gold. The things that are of note is we sold 666, <laughs> 666, Maroon Ink for 14,492 gold. Imagine if that was like 6,666, that'd be awesome. <laughs> um, we also sold more Maroon Ink as well, 126 of those for 2,741 gold. War Scroll of Fort Fortitude, 53 for 5,992 gold. We sold a Flying Machine for 1,758 gold. That's an easy mount to craft, so always have that on your crafting list because it's just it's just so easy to actually sell and it costs you very little to make. The other thing of note is the glyph, uh, the Highborn Compendium of Sundering, 1,896 gold. The Tome of the Quiet Mind, 209 gold, uh, 209 of those for 17,864 gold. The Flask of Titanic Strength, six of those for 1,054 gold. The other things of note, Glyph of the Void Lord, two of those for 1,800 gold. The Pyrian Bars, 38 of those for 3,371 gold. Um, along with Cinderbloom, 140 for 1,000, 1.5k. Uh, 1 Highborn Compendium of Swelling Tides, 1.1k. Uh, Vial of the Sands dropped in price, 39,528 gold for two of those. I know we sold another one for a little bit more. Um, Tome of, Quat of the Tranquil Mind, 20 of those for 1.5k, 1, 1 so that's not too bad. We sold a load of Highborn Compendiums of Mystical Bulwark, 1,092 gold each. That's pretty bad, but we still uh, still did some bits with that one. We sold a Mechanized Chopper for 24,861 gold. The Vial of the Sands we sold for 40,855 gold. And overall, that's basically what we've actually done. So let's pull in 217,615 gold or something along those lines. So that's definitely going to bulk our way up for that. So we're definitely going to be hitting some high numbers for this actual week. So pretty damn happy with all of that moving forward. The other things of note at the moment is just keeping track with all of our stuff that we actually got a hold of. Uh, aside from all of that, we've actually sold all of our Vial of the Sands now. That is all of them out of our 20 that we crafted. Uh, not a huge return on those, um, for obvious reasons. Probably would have been better off selling the mats. But I like to play around with this stuff just so even if I lose gold, then obviously you guys can see the returns on it. And um, yeah, see if it's worth it for you guys to do, uh, aside from myself. I'd rather do the testing and then I lose gold than you guys lose gold, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, so other than that, that being the case, better off probably selling the mats if it's under 50,000 gold for the Vial of the Sands. 
Um, aside from that, if it's over 50,000 gold, definitely worth crafting the Vial of the Sands. So we're at 933,759 gold. We still have quite a few Mechanist Choppers on the auction house. So let's just have a gander at this moment in time. I think we sold all of the, um, yeah, no Vial of the Sands on the auction house. And Mechanist Chopper, we still have duh, 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 four on the auction house at this moment in time. Obviously, they're going for a decent amount of gold, 34,000, but we sold one for 24,000. So we'll just go with that. So that's like another 100,000 for that. So not too bad. 933,000. Obviously, I spent like 100,000 on the garrison stuff. The stuff for the week for that one has actually been logged. So now I'm upgrading all of our Lunafall stuff and then seeing if that actually makes a difference in the long run. And then I will get back to everyone with all of the garrison stuff, obviously, once I've fully fleshed out the entire guide and made sure it is working. Because I'd rather it worked than just show you guys, oh, this isn't working that good, we're gonna make an adjustment. I'd rather just work through it and then make a guide on that actually works to the point in pro to the objective that I am setting, which is making gold just through garrison resources and raw gold from your garrison. So that's really helpful overall. Now, aside from all of that, 933,000 on this character, that's pretty damn good. Let's just actually go over to Dalamogs now for transmog selling. Because for obvious reasons, I have been posting transmog and a load of uncanny gear on this guy because uncanny gear, I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to post that on my transmog dude as well. So it just makes sense. Uh, for me, because that's my justification. It's just easier to sell armor with armor. Makes sense. Um, aside from that, let's have a look at what we've actually got. We, at the moment, we have about 754,000 gold worth of stuff for Transmog. Obviously, we've got to send over the Zulfrak stuff. That's going to definitely bump up those numbers right there. And what we've actually got in our bags at the moment is 51,879 gold. So realistically, we've got about 980,000 gold worth of gold. Uh, aside from that, with the 16,000 that we already have. So we sold Uncanny stuff for 1.4. We sold blah, blah, blah. Thresher's Blade, uh, Blades of the Quick Blade. That's an old man one, I think. 1.8k. Uh, one Actually, I don't think that is from uh, thing. I'm forgetting where all my transmog is coming from. But we sold we sold a uh, Thresher Blades of the Quick Blade, uh, 1.8k. We sold some Sea Breeze saddle blankets apparently for 6,369 gold. Don't know why it made it in there, but I'm glad it sold. So then we can just sell that. Okay. <laughs> so uh, uncanny stuff again. Um, more uncanny, duh, 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 uh, model card and stirrups, don't know how that got in there, 5,000, um, uncanny combatants in it of staff, 8,000, so really at the moment it's just a case of some very low sales of, of transmog on the au auction house at this moment in time, so like random stuff for like 200 odd gold here and there for all of our little bits of transmog, and a load of gold with a lot of our uncanny stuff except some like greaves that are like 3.6k for that so as we build up our transmog sales and all that stuff it's going to trickle in quite nicely when it comes to how much gold we're actually going to be pulling in so definitely going to be worth a while so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to transfer a load of gold over to my character so then we can see an overall thing so for obvious reasons the for obvious reasons, Giblet's going to hold all of the gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send over to Giblet the 60,000 gold, which is 60, 1, 2, 3, and G. Boom. And then 60,000 gold over to Giblet. And then we can log out because 8,000 gold for relisting our transmog. Then we can go into Giblet and then we can pick up that gold and then just do an overview of how well we're actually doing at this moment in time when it comes to our regular gold sales. Obviously, I've got to do some major restocking because I've been really focused on just uh, every minute I have spare, I've been doing that. So what our actual total is at 993,759 gold overall, not doing too bad, and I'm quite happy with that going moving forward. 
Now, aside from all of that, that's pretty much what I have to say for the day. I'm going to jump back onto a bit more transmog farming now, and also going to test out some raw gold farming, uh, as Comlet did a video which I found really interesting about the mother load, as you don't need as high of an eye level to actually run it, uh, because most of the mobs are quite squishy in there, in the grand scheme of the massive mobs. So instead of doing freehold where you have to have a super high eye level, you can have a moderate eye level and do the mother load. And I'm going to see how that goes. Also, this is like the start of my holiday now for what from work. So for obvious reasons, I'm going to have a lot more time on my hands, which I can then start working on loads more different types of stuff and some other things moving forward. So I'm really happy with that. I actually do need a rest. <laughs> so um, I will be having a lazy day at some point. Um, yeah. But other than that, guys, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.